Всем привет! Добрый день, привет из Минск! Guys, good afternoon. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Minsk. The weather is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, the sun is shining. It's very, very hot today. And there's hardly a cloud in the sky. And I was asked this question before. And the question was, Which place do you love? And of course, the person asking this question to me, well, obviously referred to a place in Minsk. And I have to say, Pak Druzhby Narodov is one of my favorite places here. In fact, if not my favorite place in all of Minsk, because as you can see, it's very, very natural around here. They don't even let the grass grow. So a lot of the plants here, they can pollinate naturally. And that's great for bees and insects and nature and so on. Yeah, quite nice. What a, what a glorious place. I just noticed on the way in that um, there's a lot of building work going on on the outskirts of the park. And what we have here is that uh, there's a new metro station being is going to be built in this area. Stancia Flosha Bangalore. This is the uh, Bangalore Square station. And uh, we'll have to wait a couple of years or so for that to be uh, built because actually the green line in Minsk has been extended. So yeah, a lot of activity going on in the neighborhood, especially with the uh, new metro line coming in. Yeah, this will be a nice little uh, addition to the area where I'm living in. Yeah. So this video is a bit of a follow-on from the previous video that I, that I made a couple of weeks ago. And uh, that video was giving advice on moving abroad and as I said as you recall I had some very very in interesting central themes in that video some advice as well in that if you have the chance if you have the opportunity go and take it it may be a once-off opportunity these opportunities they don't come very often and if you get that opportunity if you want to move abroad well maybe you need to save up a bit of money do a course and just take that opportunity and just go abroad and uh, that leads me on then to the central uh, question, central theme in this video. And I often get asked, do I regret moving abroad? That's a very, very good question. I get this question a lot from different people. I get it on Instagram, Facebook. I get it from YouTube everywhere. And I think to answer this question, I think you need to weigh up the pros and cons of moving abroad what are the pros what are the cons of moving abroad my first experience of moving abroad living abroad came about 20 years ago when as an exchange student uh, at the american university in blagovgrad in bulgaria i got to experience living abroad for the very very first time in my life and i have to say it was quite a transformative ex experience for me overall it changed me in so many different ways. And the thing is, well, I do miss certain things from back home. I miss the people, I miss the culture. And I have to say from my own observ observation, Belarusian people cannot do small talk for some reason. Irish people are, are a lot more open. Uh, you can say a lot more friendly than the people here. But I think that's all down to culture and so on. And that's something that you have to get used to if you're moving from one place to the next, uh, definitely when you are talking about different culture, language, uh, different ways of doing things, absolutely. You're going to come across these little norms that you will have to adjust yourself to. Kakai ala parodi? Kakai? Alabai. Alabai? Oh, sila. Turkmenia. 
Национальное, Национальное достояние. достояние. here in Belarus yeah my life is a lot more comfortable the weather is a lot better here I don't have to worry about wearing coats raincoats in the summer and also I, I can get to spend a lot more time outdoors for example in this park here in Park Dushby Narodov yeah a lot of people are just sitting around a beautiful day it is and we have lots of lovely parks here in Minsk yeah indeed what a day, what a glorious day it is. But anyway, that leads me on then to the final question. Is it worth moving abroad? And I say absolutely yes it is. Now, when you're moving to another country, you have to weigh up certain pros and certain cons. Language, culture, destination. Three things, three of the most important things you have to weigh up when you are living, want to live and work abroad in a different country so for me I have to say it has been the experience is, has actually been worth it whether it has been in Bulgaria or here in Belarus it has opened up my worldview it has broadened my horizons than it would have would have had had I stayed uh, in Dublin in my previous job in living in rat mines so definitely it has been worth the experience now the experience can be good or can be bad if it's a bad experience so what at least you can say that you've had that a choice ex that time that experience that you've had uh, living and working abroad so to sum up things guys absolutely definitely it is worth it to live and work abroad absolutely so if you have the opportunity go and take it because it might be just a once off a once in a lifetime opportunity that can what that probably never arise again for example my stay in bulgaria that came up completely accidental i had planned to study in france for a, for a year because i speak a bit of french however by tr by sheer accident i ended up in eastern europe in bulgaria in blagovgrad and i have to say it was a life changing experience one that simply i haven't regretted so if you're stuck at home wondering looking at this video don't just do nothing get out there and seize the day carpe diem if you have to save up a bit of money to do it do it if you have to go on a course go for that course to get the qualification in order to move abroad learn a different language learn another language because if you do it, can, it will open up a, a lot of doors uh, to you absolutely so it has been a worthwhile experience to say the least guys don't just sit around on your backside looking at me living my life you should go out there and live your life if you have a goal set that goal and go get it that's my advice to you okay i think we'll leave it at that for today guys just a short little video a little follow-up from my previous video that i made on foot of a number of questions that uh, that I got from you guys so that's it from Minsk on a glorious Sunday evening I'll be back next week so stick around please share like and subscribe put your comments below and uh, we'll see you next time so from Minsk from Park Druzhby Norodov it is do svidania, do streci, da papacenia. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this evening. I think I'll go for a beer somewhere. Maybe to Pasochitsa. Catch you there. Bye-bye.